Hello everyone, this is another short Sketchpad video, and this one is about Sketchpad art tools. If you look at the window here, over on the left is where the art tools are. Starting at the top, there is the selection arrow. This is where you point, you click and drag to select objects. Here is a cropping tool where you can select part of an image or you can resize the image or the canvas. Here are um, the drawing tools. And then you can see it defaults at pencil in this case. And if I click here, there is a menu. And again, it's set on pencil, but this is also a menu. And look at all these different options that you have. You can draw with a calligraphy style pen, draw with a paintbrush. When you have these different tools, you can select their color, click on the box, and you can paint in whatever colors you want. Any of these drawing tools, you can select the width of the line. You can make them bigger or smaller. You can also add a blur effect to them. The drawing tools can also be filled. Uh, for example, uh, right now you can see the slash through the ink drop. This is the fill turned off. If I click it turned on, you can see here in the example, uh, let's say I want my shape or my image that I draw. So I have a yellow color. Now, if I draw something, you will notice that it is filling in with the yellow. And then if I want to continue this drawing, I can adjust the fill and it will fill in another color. So on and so forth. The shape tools have this ability as well. By the way, I can just select everything. If I want to get rid of it, hit the backspace or delete key, and it goes away. The next tool is the shape tool. In my case right here, it's defaulted on the star. But once again, you've got a variety of shapes, and you've got a variety of control over what happens to those shapes. Even with the selection tool, I can access this menu of what I can do with the shapes. And there I can adjust the line width. I can adjust the outline color. All of that can be done. I can add numbers of sides to it. I can make a cutout for it as well. So lots of control over what I want to do. Notice here also on these shapes, I can rotate it with that little double arrow that appears on the outline. The next handy tool is the clip art. Sketchpad has a pretty extensive menu of clip art. It starts with something on default, and you can see you can look and scroll through all the different clip art, or you can search. I want a penguin, I can search for it, and I can then grab my different penguin clip art. You will notice that, of course, I can move it, I can tilt it. If I want to edit my clip art, I can go down to the paint can here and I can choose a color. For instance, if I want a purple penguin, I can use my paint bucket tool and I can click and I can fill the different sections of my penguin. I'm using the vector fill on the clip art. Sometimes in uh, shapes that you draw, the vector fill will fill the entire canvas. And in most cases, you've got a pixel fill where you can select another color and you can fill it like that. You will notice when I use the pixel fill, that I got kind of rough edges here. So the pixel fill, sometimes you have to do a little cleanup of your art when you do that. One more thing 
about the clip art. You'll notice up here it says load your own image. It's really difficult to copy and paste images into Sketchpad. You need to load them through the clip art, but if you have the picture that you want, go ahead and open that in and it will drop it right into Sketchpad. And then once you have it selected, uh, you can do those adjustments like we've already shown. You can resize it. And then you can also do things like the pixel and vector fill on it. The final tool here is the text tool. The text tool is pretty robust. Uh, you click on here and it will give you a window. It will resize the text along with the size of your window. And you can just type what you want. And then of course, you've got the menu you can go through. They've got a pretty wide variety of fonts. Just pick ones that you like and um, you may need to adjust it. And of course, you've got the menu. In the menu, you can adjust your colors, letter spacing, letter height, and all those things like that.